The concept of a causal self refers to the belief that our sense of self, our personal identity, is the result of causal relationships between various aspects of our experiences, thoughts, and actions over time. In other words, our sense of self is shaped by the cause and effect relationships that occur throughout our lives. According to this view, the experiences we have, the choices we make, and the actions we take all contribute to shaping our sense of self. For example, if we have a positive experience that reinforces a certain aspect of our identity, such as being a kind person, we are more likely to see ourselves that way in the future. Similarly, if we make a decision that goes against our values or beliefs, it may cause us to question our sense of self or to redefine who we are. The idea of a causal self is often contrasted with the idea of a fixed, essential self that exists independently of our experiences and actions. The latter view suggests that our sense of self is predetermined or predetermined and unchanging, whereas the former view emphasizes the ongoing and dynamic nature of self-formation. Higher Ego The concept of a higher ego refers to the idea that there is a higher, more evolved aspect of our self that transcends our ordinary sense of self and is characterized by qualities such as wisdom, compassion, and a sense of interconnectedness with all beings. This idea is often associated with spiritual and mystical traditions. According to this view, our ordinary sense of self is limited by our identification with our thoughts, emotions, and physical body. This limited self is often driven by egoistic desires and concerns, such as the need for approval, control, or personal gain. In contrast, the higher ego is said to be characterized by selflessness, humility, and a deep understanding of the interconnectedness of all things. The concept of a higher ego is often associated with practices such as meditation, contemplation, and self-inquiry, which aim to cultivate a deeper awareness of our true nature and to transcend the limitations of our ordinary sense of self. Some spiritual traditions also suggest that the higher ego can be accessed through mystical experiences or states of consciousness, such as Samadhi and Yoga or Satori and Zen Buddhism. It's important to note that the concept of a higher ego is not universally accepted and may be seen as a subjective or culturally specific idea. Some psychologists and philosophers may argue that there is no evidence for the existence of a higher ego and that it is simply a myth or a metaphorical construct. The concept of a lower ego refers to the aspect of ourself that is concerned with our personal desires, needs, and interests, and that is driven by a sense of individuality and self-preservation. This aspect of ourself is often associated with the concept of the ego in psychology. According to this view, the lower ego is characterized by a sense of separateness and the need to protect and enhance our personal identity, often at the expense of others. This can lead to behaviors such as self-centeredness, competitiveness, and aggression. The lower ego is also associated with negative emotions such as envy, anger, and fear. The idea of a lower ego is often contrasted with the concept of a higher self, which is said to transcend the limitations of the lower ego and is characterized by qualities such as compassion, wisdom, and a sense of interconnectedness with all beings. In some spiritual traditions, the lower ego is seen as an obstacle to spiritual growth and is seen as the source of suffering and ignorance. Practices such as meditation, contemplation, and self-inquiry are often used to cultivate awareness of the lower ego and to develop the ability to transcend its limitations. It's important to note that the concept of a lower ego is not universally accepted and may be seen as a subjective or culturally specific idea. Some psychologists and philosophers may argue that the concept of the ego is more complex than a simple dichotomy between a higher and a lower aspect, and that it is shaped by a variety of psychological, social, and cultural factors. Alina. Chat GPT. Fihil me on nafsi yushiru mustalahu alina ila al juzi min shaksi yadina al masuli hana tawas sudi bina dawa fihina adahili yadi mithli gara izina waraga batina wal halamu al hariji. Tahadu al ana juzan min nathari yadi at talili on nafsi yi lasig muin faru idun wahi yahadu al mukawi nadi athalathadi li shaksi yadi john banila john bin maha al hui yadi walana al huya. Gali ban matusafu al anabiyan naha al juzuat and fithi u al sunhua al karari mina shaksi yadi hithawi naha masulat and hani daradi af karin wa af halina al wahiyadi fadlan hana isti jabadi nalil muhafizadi al hariji yad. Yusahidu nahala at anakuli fi al ma waki fi al ijtimahi yadi watakiku at tawazuni bin raga batina watiya jadina maha tawakuhadi al mujtamahi wakawahidihi.
Weef Khan Lafir Weed Tata Tawa Rual Anaka Nati Jadin Li Tajari Binath Nayat Tafuladi Wal Murahakati Wat Tatashak Kalu Min Hilali Tafahuladi Namahawali Dina Wa Akrani Nawashak Si Yat Yas Sultati A Lukra. Tata Tharalina Idan Bisa Rahadi Nada Hili Yadi Hathunu Kafi Huli Takiki Yat Tawazuni Binaraga Badi Nawama Talibi Al Halami Al Hariji. Binama tamma indi kadu ma fumi alana min kabli badi hulama ya nafsi wal falasi fadi alan nahu ya dalu jani ban muathiran wa madrusan halani takin wasi hin fi halami nafsi a shak si iyadi. Gali ban matu akidu an nadar iyadi al muhasirati li lana halatabi hadi ha ataku fiati wal marinati. Fadlan han dal rihafi al hi fadi hala a shuhuri bilisti mari iyadi wa ta masuki fi sasina bithadi bimuri al wakti.